First time at a five-star hotel. Already with a welcome drink. Thank you very much. Sure. <laughs> this man just uh, checked me in here. No. Uh, at the, the uh, what? How do you pronounce the name of your hotel? Move and Pick Hotel. Columbia. Move and Pick Hotel. Yes. Okay. So you know me. Normally, I don't spend too much money on hotels, but I figured today I want to treat myself because I deserve it. So uh, they gave me an early check-in, and. Uh, you opt for an upgrade as well. I get an upgrade as well. You can check on that. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. And uh, the plan is, I'm going to check out, you have a gym here as well, right? Yes, yeah, it's the 23rd floor. Okay, so I'm going to show you the gym, I'm going to show you the restaurant, I'm going to show you my room, then I'm going to go to the beach, but I can't swim on the beach, he just told me. But anyway, I'm going to give you the grand tour of, of the whole hotel. I mean, it's looking very, very nice. And the rooftop bar. Hello, guest relations. If I have any uh, questions, I come to you. Awesome. Okay, let's try this welcome drink. It's not a shot of uh... No, no. <laughs> That's iced tea there. But I drink it like a shot. Okay, let me sort out the, the technicals here. And then um, I'll see you guys when I go up to the room. Chocolate cake pit stop. So I was sitting here waiting for them to come with the uh, room key, which I have now. They only took five minutes. And then I was looking at these cakes right here. Hold on, I'll show you. I was trying to, I was trying to resist and then I saw the signature chocolate cake and uh, they were telling me how good it was so I had to indulge so right after I'm done with this cake and I've gone through security oh here's my coffee thank you very much it looks beautiful I don't even know where to start how many calories? <laughs> What's the calorie count? A thousand? I take it I, I'm joking, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna eat it all anyway, so. All right, where do we start? Wow, it's so beautiful. You need some milk for the coffee? Mm. Everything's perfect, thank you. Wow, cake for breakfast. I think I'm gonna start a new expression. It is cake o'clock. Hmm. Anyway, as you can see, security here is, um, is insane. Outside here, you probably can't see, but there's people with AKs, bomb sniffing dogs in the reception. They really don't wanna repeat what happened here two months ago see if I can capture some of it on, on film for you guys. But anyway, I'm going to eat the cake. Then we're going to check out the room. We're going to have a steak. We're going to check out the pool. Uh, and tour everything. See you then. Restricted floor. Okay. You have to go to the fifth, maybe. Yeah. Well, here we have the rooftop pool, sky fitness, rooms and suites. I am on the 12th floor with the sea view. Wow, check out this infinity pool. But anyway, we are here on the 12th floor and we are going to room. Room. This one. Ah. Here we go. Very nice. How much? Yes, it comes out to about 200 a night, this place. This is a... Um, King Suite, they called it, on the website. With a view down to the beach. So I asked them again, 
if you can swim here and it's apparently not allowed I'm not quite sure why um, but he told me something about it being dangerous and so on and, and possibly polluted oh, this is uh yeah, you don't normally don't see me revel in this kind of luxury, so why did I decide to splurge? Well, I need a, a gym, and I want to eat uh, properly, live properly for a couple of days, and then I can start to uh, tour around and, and feel somewhat motivated to uh, just allow myself to deteriorate again. So, three, four days here, eating properly, living properly, eating well, training, lifting, and then I'm good to go for a couple of weeks on a motorbike with just no food at all, basically. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I'll give you a... Uh, let's check out the bathroom. Oh, this is the uh, fanciest looking bathtub I've ever seen. Too bad there's a construction site. site. Well, noodles, they don't have the shower head that you covered so much. Does noodles approve? Well, I approve. And we have come full circle. Luck. All right. And, I assume, a minibar. So let's see the selection. Yep, it does have a minibar. I also have a little water heater. Oh, Jesus Christ, what do we have here? Instead of filling up the minibar, they just have a minibar menu. Major, major disappointment. Harald, no gusto, me gusto, no gusto, damn, Harald does not approve. I do however approve of this um, little desk, what is this, why does this desk have a fro? Intriguing, oh, ethernet cable. I guess for faster internet access. But why does it have a fro? Can someone enlighten me as to why this desk have a fro? Hmm. What did I say I was gonna do? Oh yeah, we're gonna go to the restaurant. We are gonna have a steak, and then I'm gonna hit the gym. And I remember the last time I made a gym video, it was in Vietnam, and uh, I was filming other people work out. And some of you commenters, you wrote, Oh, I, could, I was so excited to see uh, Harald do uh, pull-ups. And I figured, like, who the hell want to see me do pull-ups? Wouldn't you rather see um, uh, other people who are, who are fit and all that do pull-ups as opposed to me? So, anyway, the, a lot of the commenters, you said, no, I want to see you train. So I, I might even give you a little sneak, uh, a, a little look then at me uh, lifting uh, some not so very heavy weights. Uh, as I'm not exactly fit at the moment. So, hope you enjoyed the room tour. Let's hit the restaurant. Fourth floor, we have arrived. Oh, beautiful. Hello. I would like to sit down and dine, please. Anywhere? Yes. All right. Where do you recommend? They would like to sit down there. Maybe by the window. Yeah, sure. It's a nice view. Here, can I? Take this one. Uh, okay, no problem. Okay, awesome. Would you, would you like to have a buffet? Um, so you have a nice buffet. You go have a look. I'll have a look at your buffet then. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Hold on. So I'm gonna walk around. I forgot my belt. <laughs> <laughs> I have arrived at a beautiful buffet and she's going to give us the grand tour. How much is your buffet? Uh, let me check with them, sir. All right. This is the salad corner, salad buffet. 
Is this potatoes? Yes. I love potatoes. Potato salad. This is much better than expected. I think I'm gonna have to go for the buffet. I think I'll take the buffet, it's beautiful. Sure. <laughs> Shall I give you a plate? Yes, yes, so how, how much is it? Let me check some. It doesn't matter, I'm gonna try it anyway. Thank you okay. very much. You will come. Okay, buffet it is, no steak. <laughs> I told everyone I was gonna eat a, a beautiful steak here. And then now I see that you have Buffet better than steak. And we do have Sri Lankan food. Oh, you have Sri Lankan food yeah. over there. All right. Okay, so I opted for their buffet here. I mean, it looks beautiful. So many delicacies: Sri Lankan food, Asian food. A mutton curry. This looks very good. Yeah, and it's a little hot. I think you've inspired me to try that one. <laughs> It's very hot? Yeah, a little hot. But with that uh, I'm gonna yeah. sample a little bit of everything then. Mm, that's good, <laughs> yes. And, um, something sweet or is it? It's kind of sweet to be. The fish deviled. Have this chutney thing. Oh that one? A little of that. On top here? No no no, just on the side. Ah. This is going to be your uh, if something goes wrong you can have that. If it's too hot, it's then I can. Oh, soup. all right. Don't soup. worry, I love spicy. <laughs> <laughs> An anti spicy hack. Uh, a sweet potato, tempered. A tempered sweet potato. That sounds beautiful. My first ever tempered sweet potato. A green jam mojo. No problem. Fish deviled. Interesting. I'm going to try one of these chilies as well. Excuse me for not talking a lot, guys, but. Uh, I'm not used to vlog in a five-star dining experience, it's embarrassing. Amazing buffet, huh? Yeah.
I need a different plate for the salad. I'll be back for this later. But wow, the selection here is, is unrivaled. But as you can see, I have a pretty healthy plate already. All right, let's get back to the table. I'm gonna do many rounds. I regret that chocolate cake now, of course, but done is done. What's that in dollars? For my viewers, we don't know Sri Lankan money. We need dollars. <laughs> mm. the, the buffet is absolutely fantastic. Thank you. It's so good. I tried all the Sri Lankan dishes you uh, 70. recommended. 70. 17? 17. Yeah. Wow. Also, you can get 15% discount. I thought she day. said 70, and I believed you because it <laughs> would be worth 70. 17 is 17, so cheap. It's so cheap. <laughs> Amazing value. Then you can come every day. I will. I will. <laughs> How long you will stay with us, sir? I just arrived. Okay, I saw you. I'm, I'm here for three days. Okay. That's awesome. And, uh, but I like it a lot. Maybe I'll stay longer. Okay. <laughs> I'll bring a book up. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. No, wow, uh, incredible the value for money. I, um, I, I almost cannot believe it. Let's hope I can do uh, a couple of rounds. I assume I can. So let's dig in. The next time you see me, I'll be at the gym. Or passed out from overeating. Chances are, like, I'm gonna pass out from overeating. Jesus, that buffet really got the better of me. I'm gonna have to go to the room, have a little rest and um, change my clothes and then we're gonna hit the gym. But seeing as uh, this is turning into a video where I do tons of things instead of shooting just one scene in, in one take, one go, I'm also gonna show you what I pack for a trip like this. It's a very common question. How do you pack? What do you bring? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, so I might as well cover all those things that I find boring, but a lot of people find interesting, like how I live. I mean, these hotel videos, guys, in all honesty, um, I don't really like to do them, but um, it is, as I've said in another video, one of the most common questions. How do you live? What do you eat? How do you pack? And so on. Hold on. I see a little something on the screen here. Let me see if I can fix that. Yeah, that's better. So anyway, uh, I pack absolutely bare minimum. I bring almost nothing. Um, so let's dig into the bag then. Oh, the shirt I'm wearing, I bought at the um, airport in Germany, in Frankfurt. And this bag, I also bought there. I um, was sick of the other bag for no real reason. Anyway, um, let's start, hold on, since the light is coming from that direction, let me, uh, let me film this way, then the uh, resolution and everything will be better for you guys. Here we go. Everything I brought to Sri Lanka, part one. Actually, there will only be one part. I bought these ones at uh, the airport in Frankfurt. I, uh, toiletries. I don't really have much in here. Toothpaste and some other necessities. This is a, uh, I am planning on touring on a motorbike, so this is a rainproof cover that I will 
put around this one when it's uh, raining and I'm driving. And I also use it as kind of a laundry, you know, I throw my dirty clothes in here when I, when I move hotels. So this is the, the shirt I traveled in from, from um, Germany to India and, and so on. Uh, then we have almost half of my bag is electronics, uh, chargers. I have, I wasn't sure if I needed this to charge my, uh, my things here. So far, I don't think that I do. Let me, uh, yeah, so this one, I can use it, but then it also, uh, it also takes the normal European, um, what do you even call this? Socket. So uh, yeah, these are just my, my chargers, extra battery for the, the Sony, uh, some things I need for um, the Apple computer and so on. And uh, I actually now even have a second camera. I have, I have two now. More on that later. So that's uh, pretty much half the bag. It's just chargers. Then we have a, uh, a book. What am I reading at the moment? Sex at Dawn. How we mate, why we stray, and what it means for modern relationships. Uh, what am I? I am 65 pages in. Pretty interesting read thus far. Then, for the third time in six months, I bought another pair of uh, Ray-Ban sunglasses. Uh, the first one um, I gave away to that um, kid in uh, Ahmedabad. The second I lost in the past week. I have no idea how or where. I just started looking and suddenly I didn't have them anymore. So I have no idea how that happened. And this is, uh, yeah, the third damn pair. Um, I really like the style and, and everything. So um, what do they cost? They cost 160 euros. Uh, a joke, I know. But uh, they're one of the, the few sunglasses that, that really fit me. This is my, uh, my shorts, which I'm going to be sporting when we hit the gym in a couple of minutes. Then we have the We The People 1776 tie, which uh, people always ask me, when are you gonna wear that tie? You'll see. Then we have my favorite t-shirt which is now many many years old every time i wear it people uh, the comments are like whoa douchebag he's wearing affliction t-shirt that is so 2000 or something like that well um i love the design i love the quality of this t-shirt it, it it uh i've washed it a million times i've worn it a million times it's uh it's the greatest t-shirt of all time so yes i'm gonna wear affliction even if it's the year 2045 guys uh, yeah, a couple of more, another t-shirt, that's the one I, I, uh, I wore when I uh, dyed my hair in Vietnam, hence why it looks like that. It's also the one I ate the cobra in, I was wearing that one. Uh, boxers, this is the, um, hold on, what do we have here? I think this is the, yep, it's the Harold Invades t-shirt. Um, I'm probably going to be sporting that a couple of times on this trip. We'll see. Uh, boxers. I actually have a belt. Not that I need one. And then I bought a uh, Die Mannschaft uh, Germany soccer jersey at the airport in Frankfurt as well. And then I have some boxers and socks. Um, that's everything. That's everything I have. Then, hold on. Do we have... Um, Ah, sorry. I have a comb. Seeing as now I'm growing my hair long, this is going to come in handy at some stage. And then we have the Federal Reserves. 
And then uh, here I have some a um, couple of other. Hold on, hold on. Whoops, whoops, whoops. We have some. This one for um, storing my files. What else? Oh, there is one more. There is one more. The computer. I'm traveling with the MacBook Pro that I bought in uh, in Las Vegas. So, I mean, that's everything I um, I have. That's absolutely everything. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't look like much, and it isn't much, and in all it all fits in a hand carry. Sam Samson at hand. Oh, there is a couple of. Hold on. There are more secrets here. This is a pen. Sometimes you arrive in a country and you queue up for to, to fill out those little visa applications or something and either the pen is missing, it's not working, or there's one pen and there's a queue of 200. Always carry a pen. This is probably the most useful thing I have in my luggage. Then, one more thing that comes in very, very handy. The Thug Life sunglasses. Nice. And uh, there is more, there is more. The um, hand sanitizer kills 99% of germs without water. So that's it. That's everything I, I travel with. It weighs, uh, I, di I did weigh it uh, when I checked in, something like seven kilos, hardly anything. And uh, you don't, especially when you're driving a bike and so on, and then you're, you're, you're moving hotels, I mean, you just, you don't want to have a lot of luggage. So, uh, that's it. Let's hit the gym for some reps and some deadlifts. A woman should be able to sleep around without misogynists bringing them down. Think we're ready? Good to listen to some progressive tunes to get in the mood for the gym. I'm a white knight and I'm proud of it. I always ask for consent when I'm down with it. Slash feminism on the That's sword. right. Tank ask for consent when I'm down with it. Well said, Papa Claire. The patriarchy runs the world. So check your white male privilege. I'm a I prefer a plus size model any day. This might possibly be the greatest song ever written. I feel pumped. You can fucking deadlift 200 kilos now. Let's do it. I prefer a plus size model any day. 20, 22, 23. We are here at the Sky Fitness. I will investigate. Five star hotel gym. Oh, well, there's even a little spa here. Nadine's hair and beauty. I guess I just sign in here. Hey, how's it going? All right, just coming to check out your gym. Awesome, can do some deadlifts here. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, I want to do some deadlifts. And yeah, just gonna. Yeah, but I don't like the I don't like the stationary. So I prefer the free weights first. Okay. Nice place. Thank you, sir. Do you like to do now? Yes, I'm gonna go now. I'm just gonna do a little uh, tour with the camera first, and then I'll get to lifting. Sure. And so. we also have a steam bar transfer inside. Uh, we have changing rooms in opposite. It's in this way. Yeah. Uh, 
Can you take it out? Can you do the side seat? Do the video? Yes, yes. Oh, shall I take it out? No, oh, no, no okay? problem. Just keep doing what you're doing. Oh, no okay. problem. Be as noisy as you want. I don't care. <laughs> Well, this is, um, yeah, so pretty much when I'm on the road, it's just deadlifts, maybe some pull-ups, maybe a little bit of bench and some, some cardio. But let's check out the spa. I've never seen this before. Ah, they opened the blinds for me now, so there is a, there is a view here. This is what it looks like. Let's see what I weigh first. My guess would be, I was really dieting before I came here. I was trying to get down to 79 and I, was, I weighed 81. And then I think I'm back up again, maybe now to 83, 84, we'll see. Oh, Jesus Christ, 87. Wow, I gained six kilos in eight days. Oh, well, this is cardio with a view. I am absolutely shocked that I'm 87 kilos. So, I'm going for a 15 minute run before deadlift. I was actually planning on going easy, but no. Let's get back down to 80 before I leave this country. Already so clean. <laughs> the windows are already clean and you're still cleaning. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, I was saying it's already clean, you know, yeah. and he's, he's cleaning more. So. Uh, you know, maybe they're doing like a schedule, sir. Uh, like uh, after three days, you have to clean again. Even if not dirty. Even not dirty. All right. Yeah. Because if not season, there are some dust, sometimes kingdom marks. I understand, yeah. Amazing view, great, great view at this gym. Okay, time for some deadlift. Are you sure that weight is okay? Yeah. I, I just can't believe, you know, I, I was expecting me to be maybe like 83, 84. I'm 87. Yeah, I'm just way fatter than I thought. My weight yesterday when I checked 83, now I become 82 plus these days I'm, I'm not taking much. Uh, You're much. dropping. You're dropping. Yeah. I'm gaining. <laughs> I want to drop like you. you drop? <laughs> <laughs> okay, a three hour workout today. Three hour workout today. Oh, good. I'm joking. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> you do the three hours. <laughs> Last hour. I just can't, can't believe my weight. It's, Jesus. So unfit. But it has to be done. See if we can do the interview with this guy. He's interesting. Do you have a minute? Ah. Oh. Do you have time for a little interview? Yeah. <laughs> I call the whole interview uh, there's a branch here already. This man used to be a concierge downstairs. And then you were upgraded uh, to here? For the moment, yeah. For the moment. So <laughs> he's telling me off camera, we're talking that tourism here suffers a bit now. Yeah. So some hotels have had to uh, economize, yeah. lay out some stuff and so yeah. on. We need the staff and uh, you know, even the guests, we have a short of guests because they happened in the last uh, two months before. Yeah. So we think, we hope so, we'll come back. They will come back. Back, 
sort of they really need that. So yes, it's very very important. That's what happens when when uh, yeah, like the incident happened two months ago. Everyone suffers. The whole economy, tourism, everything, everything stops. You know, a lot of everyone who who, uh, who works in that field, you know, they suffer. So I mean, now is a great time to visit. Things are quiet. Things are safe. They have a guy with the AK in the reception. He'll protect you. So there's no. Uh, hopefully, it will pick up again. Of course, yeah. We hope so that after two months or next month, back to normal. I think so. so. And then you're back down to be a concierge. Yeah. We <laughs> start to busy. Yeah, I say I'm going back again to concierge so we get to be seen. We have a trust to be next month if we have a Awesome. Yeah. At least something have to get <laughs> Some yeah. yeah. Okay. Back to the deadlift. Yeah. I'll, I'll have a chat with you later about no, the uh, the motorbike. Thank yeah, you. Sure, Thanks. Yeah. Alright, back a couple more sets and then I'm done. So sadly they, they turned on the, the music here now, which is gonna wreak havoc on the sound. So I'm not even sure I can use this clip. But anyway, uh, if I can use the clip, what I'm going to say now doesn't make much sense. Um, but now is a good time to visit here. You're getting good deals on hotels. Uh, you, there's not many tourists here, which is of course, uh, that is how I prefer to travel. And uh, I think it's, it's uh, how most people should uh, try and uh, plan their holidays around when there's going to be less tourists than uh, less is better than more when it comes to this. So anyway, I don't even know what I'm saying here. I'm, um, I'm getting dizzy from the deadlift. That's how unfit I am, but Jesus Christ, I'm so surprised how fat I was. So there's no, there's no, uh, there's no surrender today. So let's continue. It is rooftop swimming pool o'clock. Only one floor up and we are on R. R for rooftop. I'm gonna have a drink and a swim. And, uh, oh no, music. This mucus music is gonna wreak havoc on my monetization. And so is the wind. Oh, can already see a beautiful mojito. Let's find a place with minimum music. Oh no. The music is getting stronger and stronger the closer I get. Where is the pool? I must be... Ah, there we go. Well, well, well. For those of you who always say, Harold, the wind doesn't bother us. Well, let's put that to the test right now. Here, I may have found a, a windproof spot. Harold approves of this rooftop swimming pool. Let's try and not go for an early swim before we have dressed to impressed. Well, as you'd expect from a rooftop swimming pool, there's a lot of wind. Anyway, I decided to forego the drink and I'm gonna end the vlog here. I have now, uh, this vlog is a bit all over the place, but I have spoken to a lot of different people doing different jobs at this hotel. As you can see, they all speak pretty damn good English. And uh, is it worth the money to spend 200 a night? Well, you be the judge. It depends on your personal finances. Personally, I think it's okay for a couple of nights. Uh, there are cheaper rooms here too. I think I saw the uh, the standard room goes for something like uh, 130, 140 or something like that. Anyway, uh, as the wind is kicking in here and uh, I become inaudible, I'm gonna end this video. I think this was a good idea to, to cover all the small things that people always ask me about, such as uh, where do you stay, what do you eat and all that in one video. So, from the rooftop swimming pool, Jules Jordan is signing off.